today I'm gonna try and redo my uh, gland nut here and I had this 25 inch breaker bar and I broke the breaker bar basically by I was literally putting all my weight on there which is 175 pounds times two feet bouncing which is probably like you know 400 foot pounds I was trying and uh, I just broke the torque the thing right off. So I bought the special tool for that and we're gonna see if it works. What I bought is this one. This is the this is the torque multiplier and basically you put this guy on let's see if I can we go so put that thing on and then it's got this little hex and you know I really just have no idea if I'm gonna be able to get this thing off but we're gonna see how this works like literally it was a lot of torque I was putting on there and it was not coming off so this is very interesting for me to see Oh, look at that. It definitely, it definitely is moving. This is super interesting. So basically, see, um, I just pretty easily just, uh, I think I can do that with a ratchet. That way I don't have to keep on moving this thing back and forth. Well, to do, um, even with the biggest breaker bar possible but torque multiplier okay now we know this thing was like a hundred and hundred and thirty bucks or something like that so it was not cheap in terms of just having a tool that can take the gland nut off but I'm super happy because what had happened was I I had used I used a and then I put it back on again. So like the main seal is used once and then put back on and I didn't put any oil on the shims. So, you know, there we go. I got that thing off. That is fabulous. I would never have been able to do it without the fabulous torque multiplier. All right, so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off this flywheel. I'm going to, I have the end plays perfect, but I'm going to redo the um, main seal and I'm going to oil up the shims really well. So that is my next plan. Okay, I got the old, I got the flywheel off and uh, now I'm looking at this main seal this was the first one that i put on and uh you know i i really just wasn't satisfied having having done it twice so i'm just carefully without messing anything up here trying to get this thing out which All right, so assuming that I did this once and this thing is, I guess, garbage, so I'm gonna go get the new main seal and uh, I'm going to put lube, you know, lube these uh, shims up and then I'm gonna reapply the a new main seal. Okay, so I've got off the three shims. So what I can do is get a little bit of a so get some oil on here again I've already measured this end play which is great I just want to make sure 
this is all lubed up for the the first run. So put that on there. This in there. That should be good. Now what I care about is just making sure that the I'm gonna take back this up a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. This is a cleaner. And I'm just gonna go over the ceiling edge here. Just want to make sure this is free of gunk. I had put some. Uh, I had put some uh, Permatex on there. You know, my first attempt, and since that first attempt kind of failed, I'm going to try it again. Clean off this flywheel. Okay. I think that's pretty good. So now I've got that lubed up. I'll just make 100% sure. I'm happy with the amount of oil on that for the initial run. Now I've got to put on the main seal. So what I'm going to do is got this one here. New main seal. And I have this main seal tool. I'm gonna to try it. I'm gonna try it with the dowel pins to just get it on there straight initially. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of this Permatex aviation on the outside edge of this main seal. Alright, I got a brand new Thing of Permatex Aviation here, so I'm gonna just uh, the old Permatex had gotten uh, had really hardened up. I think I didn't uh, put the lid on all the time on it, so just gonna put some on this main seal just to try to really prevent any leaks. All right, and I'm gonna take a little bit and go around the inside edge here. Again, not totally sure whether you need this or not. Some people probably wouldn't do it. I'm just gonna do it because I wanna make sure to not get the oil leaks. All right, so now I'm gonna take the main seal I'm going to just kind of start it in the right... Yes, it does. Okay. So now that should push it in there perfectly. Uh, perfectly flat, that is. Let's see if this works. So far, so good. Okay, so then it hits the dowel pins and it's not all the way in. So, I think that means that the rest of the way has got to go, you know, manually with a little mallet or something. So, just want to make sure that it started in straight. All right, what I wound up doing was to actually take the old, an old main seal, turn it, flipping it like this, and then hitting it with the ball peen hammer just so that I wouldn't mess up the new one. I just kind of hit that. And then what I wound up with is a main seal that is recessed, just like, you know, a millimeter and a half under there. So that looks pretty good. Um, I don't think anything is gonna come out. I mean, in terms of that uh, coming out, so I can just, you know, get a little bit more oil in there, and that oil actually drains out uh, underneath the main seal here. 
So I think that should be pretty good. Um, so as far as the as far as this main seal goes, then what I'm gonna do is just spray a little bit cleaner onto the oops, onto the flywheel here and just clean this off before I reassemble it. It already has the o-ring in it um, and this old main seal I am going to get rid of so this thing is going in the garbage. flywheel back on and torque it down okay flywheel is on there it is and just uh, you know just take a, uh, a quick look at the uh, flywheel now with the in play it's just got that same little tiny five thousandths uh, wiggle back and forth there with a little tiny clunk um, so there's the gland nut in this. And again, thanks to that um, torque multiplier, that is the only way that I would have possibly been able to get this back off after sort of bouncing up and down and breaking a 25 inch breaker bar. All right, it is good to go.